Okay. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and assign a material. What is the dielectric of SMA? Uh, they make the SMA dielectric with a material called polytetrafluoroethanol. And uh, it's you can find it as uh, the following abbreviation PTFE. So it's PTFE. So you go ahead and assign material and search PTFE. PTFE and you'll find it and that's a lie you wouldn't find it <laughs> I added before and I forgot to remove it so uh, you basically uh, I'm removing this material so you can go ahead and uh, see how I add the PTFE so you can find the PTFE so what you do is you go ahead and say add material this is a simple tutorial for how to add a material and you go in the, in the Wikipedia and search for the for the polytetra fluoro uh, fluoro uh, thylin, uh, or PTFE and you will find all the electromagnetic and physical characteristics of or properties of the material so if you do that you will realize that the bulk resistivity of this material is 10 to the power of 6 ohm per meters therefore the bulk con conductivity is 10 to the power of minus 16 uh, the the reverse of the resistivity uh, Siemens per meter and then uh, you might need to add the the relative permeability is one and uh, the mass density of that is 2200 kilogram per meter qu uh, uh, cubicle and uh, you have core loss type um, Actually, this is one of the uh, advanced uh, electrical property that I'm not going to go through that. You have to have the, the data for that. I don't have it. The only thing that I have here is dielectric uh, constants is 2.1, but I don't see it here, which is okay. And uh, I just want to make sure that the... Um, uh, Yeah, it does not require that. So I just want to make sure that uh, I'm giving it the right name, PTFE, right? PTFE, and I want to validate the material to see all the materials matching and there's nothing weird in my numbers. So everything is fine. I just press OK. Done. I have my PTFE and it's basically an isolator with this bulk conductivity. Okay, I press OK on that, and now I have my uh, insulator or uh, basically dielectric constant here in the design. If you go ahead and open the data sheet of this uh, SMA, you will see that the, uh, basically I'm going to go ahead and switch to the object mode. Um, the uh, signal path is basically uh, an alloy of, it's basically a phosphor bronze. So I will go ahead and um, right click on that and say this is a bronze. And that would be this. And uh, and the so this part here, just like the face here, is uh, zinc. And this is as an alloy of zinc. Uh, because you want to have some rigidity and some physical strength they use here zinc or an alloy of zinc but uh, again these parts here all these uh, connectors here are uh, like the ground connectors are uh, bronze so I'm gonna go ahead and just put all of that as bronze since it wouldn't change any uh, you know difference in the electromagnetic wave and therefore I just uh, would call it uh, bronze so that would be also bronze with a very good conductivity okay it's actually phosphor bronze so if you want to be very very uh, careful you can go ahead and search the phosphor bronze and put the uh, exact uh, bulk conductivity and the other electrical uh, property of that okay so that would uh, finish 
are a simple tutorial on how to model a simple um, SMA and uh, bond wire and you can put your chip here and uh, start your simulation and see what's how you can de-embed uh, the effect of the PCB on your chip. Uh, before I finish this, I'm gonna sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that the 3D model is all fine. Um, okay, so one thing that you find here is it says that the bond wire and the PCB pad. Again, that's a good thing because we call them so we know which one is PCB pad. So it doesn't have an obscure weird name. So the PCB pad and bond wire has like intersection. Of course, this guy went inside that. So uh, one thing you should do is you have to either bring this thing up. So exactly touching uh, the, the PCB pad or you want to unite them. If you unite them, the, the, the cash back is the catch is uh, you basically uh, cannot have two different materials assigned to them. So if you do so, the bond wire, which is gold right now, and the PCB pad, which is solder, would be the same material. You either should say both of them are solder or you should say both of them are gold. And there are gold uh, plates, PCBs, and so it's not wrong if you do that. But if you want to uh, not do that, you have to double click on the, uh, the wire bound and uh, Oh, that's not nice. Before I've had some. Okay, so then and the in the H2, I think you have to put some values. I don't know. So 150 uh, micrometer. Uh, it should automatically understand that is micrometer. So so let's see if this thing is. Oh, you have to put minus. Uh, it's the way that they defined you have to put minus to bring it up so now it's on top of that so it's exactly touching actually 150 means it's 50 micrometers higher now so you want to make it minus 100 not minus 150 so that would fix that so now we have a gold and a solder pad and these two are not intersecting so if I save that and do another 3D. It says that the pin and the signal path. Oh yeah, there we go. So that part is the intersect thing, and um, you either bring the. Where is that? Okay. So it basically tells you that these two fellows are intersecting uh, with each other. Here, right there. So these guys are, you see that it's going inside that. So you, either you bring this thing upper and then you call this bronze, bronze, and this copper, copper, or you just call both of them bronze. I don't basically see that much of a difference. So you can just, uh, I, want, I want to show you the alternative solution. So uh, you go ahead and select both of them and then you just say unite them. And uh, based on the priority of your selection, it will go ahead and assign the relative material. Uh, because I first select the signal path and then select the uh, the signal pin, uh, it it basically put the higher priority on the signal path and basically called it co copper. And now both of them are copper uh, and are united. So now because they are united, there is no intersection. There is no meaning for the intersection. So if I clear this and go ahead and uh, I do my check. You can see that the only problem now I have is I don't have a boundary or excitation or analysis setup, which is fine. But my 3D is passed. Everything is fine. Great. So that uh, concludes my uh, tutorial on how to model uh, simple things. The basic uh, tutorials on the modeling. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know. Put the comments below the videos and um, I will uh, try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, like it. If you want to share these videos, you can share them and uh, make sure that you uh, put the courtesy of the videos and refer to the person that uh, created. Um, but you can share the videos in your websites or uh, with your friends. Um, I would, if you have any problem with the video, if you don't like the video, let me know why. And uh, all your feedbacks are uh, very 
uh, welcome and appreciate it and I will try to fix the problems in the later videos. Thank you very much for watching that and I wish you uh, the best and luck for your uh, future simulations and life. Thank you.